Did you know? In the 30 plus years that Berserk has been going, the series has touched an incredible amount of fans and creators alike. After pitching the series in 1988, Berserk would go on to spawn 40 volumes of manga, a light novel, a trilogy of movies, three television anime series, three video games, and a plethora of merchandise. The series was so successful, in fact, that according to industry veteran Zach Davison, Berserk was the highest selling series Dark Horse Comics ever released, even beating out Hellboy and the Umbrella Academy. The manga has sold a staggering 50 million copies as of May 2021. As a matter of fact, Miura was inspiring people before he was even really a professional. In 1976, at only 10 years old, Miura created his first manga, Mew Ranger, a portmanteau of Miura and Ranger, which was published in a school publication. Created for fellow students, the series ended up spanning 40 volumes. George Morikawa, creator of the Hajime no Ippo franchise, was another who saw the potential in the young would-be assistant Miura. Morikawa recalled the time when he met Miura after a lecture at college and they exchanged art. Even though Miura was only 18, Morikawa saw the drawings and was stunned. He knew that Miura had a future as a manga author. When I asked him to show me some of his drawings in his sketchbook, it stopped my heart and gave me goosebumps. Within were drawings of fairies, a certain brand, a swordsman wielding a huge sword, the beginnings of what would later be Puck and Guts, all drawn in thick lines. It was too much. What is this? I asked him. They're what's inside my head, he answered. I want to get better, so I thought I should draw them. At one point, Morikawa was so impressed by Mira's skill that he told him there was nothing more he could teach him. Did you know, some of the most recognizable series in anime and manga were inspired by Berserk? One such example is author Hajime Isayama, creator of the Attack on Titan franchise. In 2013, comic Natalie interviewed Isayama as the final movie in the Golden Age arc trilogy of films was releasing, and as his own anime series was set to premiere. Isayama said that his first introduction to Berserk was in junior high, and one of the first things that really stuck out to him was the physical transformation of characters. It's tremendous just magnificent. I got the impression that it was very well organized, like a movie. Also, I liked the transformation of heroes, so I liked the depiction of physical transformation that appears in Berserk. In the scene in the Tower of Condemnation, there is a guy wearing a mask like a hood, and I was impressed by the fact that the mask became a face, and the face of the person wearing it became ambiguous. Other series, completely opposite of Berserk, have even made reference to it. In Episode 3 of Skullface bookseller Honda-san, the question is posed about finding a shoujo manga that could entertain a man in his 40s, and the answer was they just bought Berserk. This itself is a reference to the fact that Miura has gone on record stating how the shoujo classic The Rose of Versailles had an effect on how he portrayed his own characters. Even some Western creators seem to have taken some inspiration from Berserk. In Marvel's Captain America, Sam Wilson, Volume 1, Number 5, fans were eager to point out the resemblance of the cover to the character Femto. Coincidentally, in the official Berserk guidebook released in 2018, Miura made an interesting reference when talking about how he shaped Guts's appearance and weapon. For example, there's an American comics character named Captain America in the Marvel hero movies. In terms of abilities, he's a little more incredible than an Olympic athlete, making him weaker than the other heroes. I wanted to give the impression with the Dragon Slayer that someone with pro wrestler muscles might be able to swing it once or twice. Thus did I come up with the appearance of Guts. That very same year in Marvel's Avengers Infinity War, a scene depicting Thanos under an eclipse is strikingly similar to that of Griffith 
under the eclipse in Berserk. It should be noted that the Thanos scene depicted in the movie was not originally in the comics. Did you know? Though the series is beloved by fans, it became known for going on long hiatuses, which in turn has caused some parts of the manga to last for an incredibly long amount of time. The most notorious of which, known infamously to fans as the Boat Arc, started in 2006 and lasted well over eight years, finally ending in 2015. This has often led to confusion about what exactly causes this to happen. Many fans question whether Muro was physically ill, mentally ill, didn't care about the series anymore, or was even too obsessed with idle games. But Mura shed more light on how Berserk was created in an interview with Comic Natalie in September of 2019. One cause was the shift from traditional art to digital art in the series, with Volume 38 being around the beginning of that transitional period. While he had dabbled with digital formats previously, Miura had to basically relearn how to create Berserk once that transition was complete. The idea behind this was not only to modernize the process, but also to streamline and speed it up as well, something the series was not known for. Miura, of course, took to it in his own way, admitting to Comic Natalie that while he was inking Berserk, he would go pixel by pixel to ensure the art was perfectly presented. His editors were often enraged by this. Though he would miss deadlines, Mura said he would rather miss a deadline or two if that meant being able to get to the level of detail he desired. Comic Natalie asked Mura if he was tired of working on Berserk after 30 years of publication. Mura responded assuredly, Actually, everything to do with drawing manga is fun. I've never really thought that drawing manga is tough or painful. I have thought at times that it's a bit of a pain, but even that can be fun. If it wasn't, then I wouldn't have done it for so long. He died doing what he wanted. No matter what, right? I bet he was happy. Hi, this is Carrie Karanen, and I play Casca in the English language dub of Berserk. Casca was my very first anime role, and it introduced me to dubbing which has become a huge part of my life, and all the people on that project have become lifelong friendships. It will always be one of my greatest honors to have voiced Casca. I know how much this series means to me and to the fans, and there was so much story still to tell. I think we're all going to miss him a lot. Hey, thanks for tuning in. This is Mark DeRazon, the artist formerly known as Guts. Or wait, maybe it's the other way around. Either way, happy trails, Mira, and thanks for taking us on this awesome adventure. <laughs>